Sometimes you have to let the fates decide. Heads or tails? Check or cringe. Call it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ba, 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 we're playing Super Mario mm, Sunshine. He's back. It's Petey. It's Petey. Oh, we're back at the starting area. We're going to get this area done with. We're going to put it down. Mm, now with our new advanced uh, techniques. I always say kill the bees. That's like the phrase I always use. We gotta kill, kill the bees. The, yeah, like no, kill the beast. Oh, kill the beast. Where like you know what that reminds me of? What's up? When I think about it, one of my favorite like songs of like, it's so good. Fucking, what sound is this guy making? That uh, the Logic song from the mixtapes, Shine On. Ooh. That is some of my, my favorite on. rapping like ever. It sounds good. It's like. The flow's good. Like, the lyrics mean something. One of my it's favorite great. memories from uh, this summer was uh, me and my friend. We were just, like, playing Call of Duty, and it was, like, pretty late. Like, it's, like, mm -hmm. 1 a.m. And uh, we were just talking about life and stuff. And I was, like, you know, he asked, like, I was, like, rapping some lyrics. And he's, like, what you listen to? He's, like, oh, I'm just listening to some, some Kanye. It's, like, and he was, like, you know what? I've never actually gotten into Kanye. Like, he was telling me. He's, like, and I was, like, what? It's just, like, and, yeah. I, and I was, like, oh, we're listening to uh, we're listening to Kanye right now. It's like so we like all we do like for an entire night is uh he listens we listen to the college dropout all from start to finish all the way through, and then afterwards he like he was talking about me about Logic and I said the same thing. I did the same thing. I was like I really haven't gotten into Logic and he was like what? You know? All right, guess what we're doing? Yeah, and so we're like and he and we listened all the way listen to Under Pressure all the way through and I was just like this is like we both agree like these are like hip hop classics like these are super mm -hmm. good. Like, like, people hate on Logic, but like, you know, his I really music's don't. not the best, but it's not bad. I really don't like, understand the hate. Some of it's not hate. good, but he has, yeah. I just think that like, like his most popular song is like super hello? like. Why is my camera? It's like just, just hold like a direction. There you go. Yeah, so it's obviously not working because it would have done it by now, Sam. Oh, okay. My bad. Uh, yeah, you uh, are. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like another thing, what I think it is too, it's like, I don't know, like he. Oh my God, Mother of Pearl! But like yeah. the glow, like not global, but like I don't know. The first impression you get is he's like, like the like ah, I'm the cool like dorky. Fred, rapper. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I rap, yeah, about, yeah. I rap about like quirky dark dorky things. I think yeah, for some reason, like the so Logic's most popular song is the One Eight Hundred song, and like everybody was like his. Like, that one's that one's got memed on hard. I know, but like it's got memed on, but it's also like uh, like it's just like I don't know. That was his most popular song, and it still is his most popular song. If you go to, like, Spotify, it's probably, like, his number one song. Mm -hmm. But, like, literally no one talks about Under Pressure or, like, uh, Young Sinatra 4 or or The Great, The Incredible True Story. The Incredible True Story. That's my favorite album album of his, 20, 2015, Incredible, The Incredible True Story. It's, like, literally it's all so good, but, like, he really didn't break out to the mainstream until... Until after. Until everybody came out. Yeah. And, I, and I like everybody, but, you know, it's, like, different logic, you know? Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks that this is what normally Logic Lounge sounds like, but that's just not true. Is it, like, the Logic that, like, started, like, he started off on, like, Under Pressure. Like... Oh, oh, oh geez, what the... Oh, you had to yeah. shoot it at him. Yeah. I remember this now. But, um, yeah, like, that's, like, that's, like, the normal Logic we know. Like, he literally talks about, like, like selling crack to his dad and, like trying to get his like trying to like get off the street like he's like from the same neighborhood kevin durant's from which is like in maryland and no one talks about that <laughs> yeah so i don't know and like you know and like he's like he's actually like from the hood and like you know connie's from like from the suburbs <laughs> connie went to college Honestly, an another thing why i love logic is like literally like his story it's like it's such an inspiring like just like you did you ever listen to literally like literally came from nothing Bro, have you ever, uh, so like, both songs, so whoever was watching, go listen to these two songs. First, go listen to Last Call by Kanye West, and then go listen to Last Call by Logic. <laughs> <laughs> because it's literally the same song. It's just them rapping, and then by the end of it, they're just talking about how, like, you know, how they made it to, like, into the rap scene. Like, both, and they're both, like, ten minutes long, so it's, like, a four-minute, like, beat, and then they just rap, and then afterwards, they just freaking talk about what, how, like, how they got here. So, yeah, yeah, that's right. We like rap music. <laughs> yeah, we listen to rap. I, yeah, so I I do like listening to like uh that one guy. I think his name's like Patrick CC. But like he like he like opens the door for like smaller artists. 
So that way, I don't, you know, we're just we don't we just become like we don't listen to like the cheat codes like, you know, Drake, Lil Uzi, Kanye, like all the big guys. Like there's like mm -hmm. some some of the smaller guys deserve some love too. Oh, whoa! Open your mouth, bro. Petey, you gotta chill on the the McDonald's, man. <laughs> I can't. The McRib is back. I have to. <laughs> the McRib. I fucking back. love the McRib. I actually hate the McRib. I remember I had it once. I, like, what, do you, what is your opinion on McDonald's? Like, again, uh, it's it's gross. Well, yeah. it's not gross. It tastes good, but like it's more of like when I so, like, I'm so, like, like I think of McDonald's like uh, I'm like uh, you know I don't really know, but like it's good every once in a while. I remember like, somebody said where like it tastes good, but I still hate it. Like that's like yes, how to describe yes, it. Like, so, and again, that's also I feel like it's like I wouldn't say I feel the way about other fast food places. More of like the stew of like oh McDonald's, it's like the worst, you know. But like, I mean, that's not I'm not that's not like saying it is good. It still is very bad for you. But like, dude, this guy's about to get stuck in the tornado. Oh yo, <laughs> he's like running in circles. Like yo 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 yo. yo. He's like, my, my, it's almost like my AI path is fucked up. Ah. Oh, he stops that. your mouth. But, uh, like I said, I have, like, McDonald's. It's, like, last resort. Like, I'm starving or, like, I'm either, like, uh... <laughs> am I going to bed hungry or am I going to get something? Exactly. Basically. So, but... McDonald's is, like, I always get the same starve. thing. I always get the same thing from McDonald's. I just get the chicken nuggets. I cannot. Yeah, I was gonna say I I usually just get it just fries and nugs. I can't I can't do the freaking like burgers. No, the burgers is what like grosses me out the yeah, most. Yeah, same. It's like disgusting. The chickens like I can handle it at least. Yeah, dude, nugs that are underrated as fuck are Wendy's. True. Where do you go? Where do you go? These above you. No, the shadow's not there. Um. Oh, well, we gotta look around, I guess. I hear him. Oh, he's oh. above you. Yeah, he's above you. Where's his shadow? I don't know. Right there. <laughs> oh, he's over there. Oh my goodness, careful. Wendy's. Wendy's. I used to get like the make the chicken with with the baked potato and like a frosty. Ooh, I haven't been to Wendy's in forever though. It's just the spicy nugs, dude. Oh my god. There's like no Wendy's near me. Like I don't even know there's a Wendy's. Yeah. Bar. The there's one, it's not, it's like, it's like, it's on like the outside of the city near me, so it's like a little bit of a drive, but not really. There's no Wendy's near me. What I've been getting recently, though, I've been getting some Popeyes. Popeyes kind of slaps. It's like a good... Dude, I'll be real, I think I've had Popeyes like once when I was a kid. I don't... What the hell was that thing? No idea. Just random enemies, dude. Popeyes is basically just like discount Chick-fil-A, and it's perfectly fine with me. And I said, I I'm a chicken lover. I just love chicken. The moment they yeah. can make chicken, like, I don't know, like, genetically, like, done. Like, you don't have to worry. You don't have to, like, farm it anymore. Like, it's the day, like, I can What do you die. mean? You just, like, grow chicken in your, in your yeah, house? Yeah. Like, yeah, just, like, grow chicken. Like, you know, like, like genetically. Like, DNA. Like, instead of just, like. Because yeah. I feel like we can get to that. We'll have to get to that point eventually because there's no way, like. Like population shit. Yeah, yeah. Like at some but point. I mean, that, that that's like some like that's like some like uh, dystopian future like cyberpunk shit of like. I guess, but like, like I just see, I, I just that's where I see it because there's no way we can keep keep up with this animal cruelty. Oh, this animal cruelty! Those poor animals. Oh. I mean, no, we we, have, we know like we're gonna have to like double it within the next like twenty years if like. True. Like, we, and there's just not enough space, so. We start eating people. Now that's a good idea. That we can talk about in the next episode. Bye!